In this video, I'm going to show you how to install PHP 7 and Composer on Windows 10 natively. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is, uh, it's, it's listed in the PHP for Windows download page uh, to do this, but it's a little bit hidden, so you might miss it if you follow the instructions on this page. But basically, uh, it requires you to have uh, one of these distributions installed, Visual C++ uh, for Visual Studio 2015 or 2017, 2012. Um, if you look at the list of PHP versions, if you go to the PHP Windows uh, download page, each version requires a different version of the, the uh, redistribution, so VC14, VC15, etc. So once you've installed that, you need to click on the link in the sidebar here, uh, and then you go, you end up getting to the Microsoft page for it, uh, and you download it um, right here. You click download and then install it. Once you do that, you're ready for PHP to be running on your computer. Uh, so the next step is you want to download PHP. So I'm going to download PHP 7.1. I usually like installing the latest, the latest stable release that has been out for a while. Uh, 7.2 is the current version, but I usually get the current version minus one, uh, just because most of the software I use is a little more stable running on that version. Uh, so I'm going to get the x64 non-thread safe version and I'm going to get the zip file. I can save it to my computer. Uh, and I actually already did that since I'm on a slower internet connection inside my downloads folder. Uh, and so I have PHP 7.1.16 here in a zip file. And uh, after you download it, you expand it into the path c colon slash PHP 7. Uh, you can actually put it other places, but this is simple and it's pretty standard. Uh, so I right click, extract all. I'm going to expand it into PHP 7. Uh, and I'll show extracted files when complete because there will be another step that I need to do to enable certain extensions and set up PHP. Once that's finished, it'll open up the folder that you just expanded into. And the next step is you want to set up a php.ini file to tell PHP how to run on this computer. Uh, since I'm using this for a development environment, I'm going to grab from the development php.ini example that's included. So I'm going to change that name to php.ini, and then I'm going to edit it. I use Notepad++, but you can use whatever editor you want. Uh, and then I'm going to make a few changes to this file to make PHP run correctly for my uses. Uh, so I'm going to change the memory limit. Because I use Composer a lot, I need a, a higher memory limit. So I'm going to change that to 1 gigabyte. So memory limit 1G. And then I'm also going to enable some PHP extensions. Uh, the first thing you need to do is tell PHP where to look for the extensions. And on Windows, it's in the ext directory. Uh, so you need to uncomment that line. So I'm going to find extension dir. Uh, is it ext dir? Yeah, there it is. I'm going to uncomment that line, and then I'm going to go down to the extensions section. And there's a number of extensions I use. Uh, since I use Drupal and Laravel and some other systems, uh, these are the extensions that I uh, usually tend to need for my applications. So I'm going to uncomment them. GD2, uh, curl, MB string. And depending on what you're doing, you might need to enable other ones as well. Most PHP frameworks are good about telling you that uh, something is missing. Uh, MySQL. Oops. SQLite. And sockets. Uh, so I'm going to save that file. Uh, and the next, next step is you want to be able to run the command PHP anywhere in Windows. So you need to add this uh, path to your Windows system path. So I'm going to copy that, uh, go into the system control panel, and then go into advanced system settings, then go to environment variables, open up path, and I'm going to add a new entry for PHP. OK, OK. Okay, I can close that. Uh, and now I should be able to get uh, PHP in PowerShell or pretty much anywhere. PHP-V, 
and the first time it runs it has to compile a couple things so it'll it'll take a few seconds but after that it's a lot faster uh, so PHP is running here I also often use commander uh, it's a little bit in my opinion it's a better terminal emulator for those coming from the Linux world uh, PHP V I have it running here so now at this point we have PHP running and uh, the next step is we want to get Composer working. Uh, a nice thing about Composer is that it includes a nice little Windows installer so you don't have to do anything extra. Uh, if you go to the Windows installer for Composer uh, download, it's just click on this file, download the exe, it installs it just like any other Windows package. And of course, uh, since my internet is slow, I have it already downloaded here. Uh, and you just open it up, approve, approve it, and uh, install it. it. It should automatically detect where your PHP executable is. And go ahead and follow all these steps. Once it's done, uh, once it's done, I should be able to go into a new, new uh, window and say Composer, and it works. You can see that the command, uh, if you just run Composer by itself, it gives you all your help messages. So at this point, I could do things like create new Composer projects. I could work with PHP projects, clone them locally using Git, and then run Composer install. Uh, basically, anything that you need to do with PHP is available system-wide natively in Windows at this point.